Hi, Robbie McEwen here. Once again, I'm pleased to be an ambassador for the Tour de Brisbane and the Brisbane Cycling Festival. The third edition of the Tour de Brisbane course has some awesome features never before ridden by cyclists. I hope you're as excited as I am to ride in April. Starting at the Brisbane showgrounds in Gregory Terrace, all of our courses are fully closed to traffic. They're unique, iconic and world class. The first six kilometres of the ride features many Brisbane landmarks, including Fortitude Valley and the Story Bridge. Early on, and before it's time to give it their all, riders can warm up their legs taking on the scenic Kangaroo Point Cliffs and down into South Bank before heading onto the Southeast Busway Tunnel going express to the south. Now getting into the rhythm, riders will pass a live DJ at Mount Gravatt to urge them on and keep them pumped up. Coming out of the busway, there's the first feed station at Rochdale, which is also the U-turn for the shorter course, an achievable 50km return route for those up for the challenge. Cyclists in the 80 and 110km rides continue along some deceptive rolling hills and slightly more rugged terrain through Mackenzie, Burbank and Chandler. The stronger cyclists may look to turn things up a notch through this segment of the course. Riders then pass a second feed station heading towards the Sleeman Sports Complex at Chandler before returning back towards Rochdale. From there, the riders will push back up to the north, returning along the southeast busway and heading for the city. Riders drop into Southbank, over the Victoria Bridge and for the first time ever, ride underneath the CBD through the exclusive Northern Bus Network. Passing under Queen Street and King George Square, Riders will emerge at the Roma Street bus stop before reaching the fourth feed station on the approach to Normanby Station. Out of Normanby Station, 50 and 80 km riders will catch the inner city bypass to the finish, while the 110 km Grand Fondo riders will continue on the inner northern busway to Hurston and into the Legacy Way Tunnel. Mount Cutha climb is next, but this time in a clockwise direction, taking on the more gradual western approach. This segment finishes at the Summit Cafe, where cyclists take the opportunity for their final feed station at 15 kilometres to go. Across the top of Mount Cutha and then a sharp, technical descent onto the Milton roundabout flyover. Back into the Legacy Way Tunnel and onto the Inner City Bypass. Finally, the cyclists will need to keep their wits about them around the Clem 7 interchange and through a final technical chicane before reaching Gregory Terrace for a well-earned finish. Keeping riders safe on the course is a massive task, including over 120 traffic controllers, more than 100 police officers, the rerouting of over 80% of the Brisbane bus routes and closing Brisbane's busiest stations. Also providing free tolls for the Clem 7 during the event and providing hundreds of individual access plans for residents on course. Tour de Brisbane couldn't take place without a strong partnership with our community. Thank you to the countless residents, businesses and stakeholders for welcoming cyclists from afar to Brisbane and our respective suburbs. Thank you to the Queensland Government, Brisbane City, Oz Cycling and the UCI for supporting cycling in Brisbane and Queensland. The Tour de Brisbane is a not-for-profit activity in support of the common good, an initiative of the Prince Charles Hospital Foundation.